They are now being shorted the very funds dedicated to alleviate the effects they are facing. New at 530, environmental groups are alleging the misuse of more than 100 million Utah taxpayer dollars. They're calling for a federal investigation into a fund for rural Utah economic development. Fox 13's Ben Winslow has more. Give the money back! A coalition of environmental and climate action groups called for a federal investigation of spending by the governor's permanent community impact fund board. I respectfully also request the United States Department of Interior Bureau of Land Management to conduct a thorough investigation into the spending of federal mineral lease funds in the state of Utah since 2009. They accused the board of spending over $109 million in public money to expand fossil fuel projects in rural Utah, including a controversial rail line from the Uinta Basin. The Uinta Basin already suffers from poor air quality, especially from ozone pollution. Extracting more dirty fossil fuels will only pollute the airshed more and add to the climate crisis we are all facing. The money, they say, is supposed to go to rural infrastructure needs. These unfunded projects include water and sewer services, recreation centers, and road improvements that are desperately needed. A legislative audit last year did find some problems with the board's spending, but the legislature passed a bill to allow for the funds to now be used on these kinds of projects. It's illegal under the Federal Mineral Leasing Act, which is a federal law. At the state capitol, activists tried to present their report to the governor. Yes, I can't expect any uh, mail or packages. All right, well, this is our government. Whose office didn't accept it. They ended up shoving it through the door. We're always cautiously optimistic that when we pr pr present fact based information, our elected officials will take that into account and respond in a responsible way that supports public health and the interests of taxpayers. In response to the coalition's report, a spokesperson for the governor says he supports the board and its efforts to provide infrastructure for rural areas. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.